Congratulations, you're fortunate. Some of us were not. We were systematically broken out of our happiness, believing that everything we want to do is wrong. Okay. So when I saw the ticket number, I smiled to myself because it was like a little nod or a little sign of encouragement from the universe and from my guides going, yeah, you're supposed to visit your mom right now. Relax, chill. We sent you here. That's why you put that thought in your head, like go visit your mom randomly in the middle of nowhere. When I had gone the previous year in 2022, we actually had a huge fight because we're healing our trauma as a family and all the earlier trauma was coming out. guys this is Zephyr welcome back to my channel I've been putting off this video for a long time but today this is an amazing location I'm in Kelowna British Columbia Canada for those of you who have been there you know how amazing it is and for the rest of you please do come and visit this lovely town so today's video is another one in my spiritual life series and I've put this video off it's about this plane ticket and this was 3rd September 2023 and I'd saved this ticket to show you guys something so this is another video about the signs and following the signs and how you would be guided on your path by your spirit guides, your angels, your ancestors, your spirit animals, whoever you bring in and call in, depending on the maturity of your spiritual practice and the level you're at. Of course, this is not a competition. It's not about levels. I have to say that for the new people watching, for the old people, just ignore that because uh, you already know that. And so... It's not about like, oh, I reached the next level. It's not that. But depending on where you are, there might be different people guiding you through your life, right? For some of us who don't even believe in spirituality, and you're watching this video and you're like, I don't believe in God and da, da, da. But you're like, somehow I know the right moves to make. Just take this video as the next step in your somehow, okay? So let's jump right in. So this is a plane ticket, as you can see, right? For me, that's my name, Zephyr Kambata, traveling to Jakarta which it says over here and look at the number here 24 f and seat 44 i actually took this trip on a whim and so i didn't know if it was the correct thing for me to be doing now as i've met more open-minded people like in canada and the western side of the world they would be like oh there's no such thing do what you like and i'm not saying everyone in the western side of the world but here i've met a few more compared to asian um and Eastern sort of methodologies, mythology, uh, Hinduism, and all these cultures about the signs and things. They would just say like, yeah, just do whatever you want. It's awesome. Your seat number was supposed to be 24 anyway, whether you follow it as a sign or you don't. Well, it doesn't really matter, right? As we said at the start of this video. So for me, I didn't know whether I should go take this trip to go see my mom in Jakarta because I had other work pending. And I was looking for a sign. And I'm always looking for signs from my spirit guide. Some more confident people that might be, oh, maybe you have a lack, lack of confidence, right? Maybe. But for the more spiritual people, they'll be like, oh, that's the way it's supposed to be. For people who are into psychology like I am, I mean, as a passion and hobby, and I see some clients privately, they might be like, oh, that's just childhood conditioning because you were told you were wrong when you were young all the way. For me, all these, th all these three are true. I do a mix of it all. I like to be eclectic. I like to learn from different places and I like to feel like I'm getting the best. That again could be some kind of trauma. In the sense, why would you feel you're not getting the best if you just do one of them? Like, what's this fear of not doing well? Anyway, let's not go into that in this video. But if you guys want to go into that stuff, and this was not planned, it's just coming out now, go watch my self-care playlist, which I'll link above right now. So let's go back to the topic. Now, 24 is my birthday. So when I see 24 on a seat or an airport, a uh, plane number or a belt number or something like that where the bags are coming out to me it's a sign above all because that's my birth date and 24 is my soul number according to eastern practices how you get your soul number is you add up your two digits in your birth date if it's just one digit that's the soul number if it's like 24 or 21 then 21 would be three because two plus one so anytime I see a six or a 24, I know it's a very solo thing for me. It's a sign for me, not necessarily my whole family. For me, those signs come in different numbers. But when it's a solo thing, it's always 24. And I know, oh my goodness, this is where I need to be. The universe is guiding me. And so not just that, but the seat number also said, well, it's a sequence 44. I'm not sure what that is, but repeating numbers are also an angel sign. And so I have both of those. And F, 24F, the seat number. So F is A, B, C, D, E, F, 6. Which is also 
24. So 24 and then a reconfirmation with an F. So that's six and six. And then sequence 44. Somebody who works in the airlines probably know what sequence means. I don't, that's okay. But that's two repeating numbers showing me that this trip was indeed meant for me. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys. So when I saw the ticket number, I smiled to myself because it was like a little nod or a little sign of encouragement from the universe and from my guides going, yeah, you're supposed to visit your mom right now. Relax, chill. We sent you here. That's why you put that thought in your head, like go visit your mom randomly in the middle of nowhere. And that was probably a trip we needed. And it was a wonderful trip and it ended too soon. When I had gone the previous year in 2022, we actually had a huge fight because we're healing our trauma as a family and all the earlier trauma was coming out of what I was unsatisfied with my mom about, what she was unsatisfied with me about. And in 2023, this trip was needed to sort of bring us even closer together because she works overseas. She's, they're not divorced or anything, but she just happens to work overseas because that's better job prospects. There were better job prospects for her there. It was an amazing trip. So that's what I want to leave you with today in this short video. Just open yourself up to the signs. And for me, uh, the signs are a big one because I've been so traumatized when I was young that I, I was completely pushed out of touch with my spiritual nature, which was there at the start until my mom's fear-based programming on you got to be first in class otherwise you'll die uh, <laughs> I came in of course now she's acknowledged that as a more mature human and we're learning and we're healing and she herself has a master's in counseling therapy and, and counseling psychology and so on so we are learning as someone who was conditioned by all this stuff I always need signs to, for me to pick my own happiness which a lot of people who grew up without trauma are like why would you not pick your own happiness like Chill guys, you guys were taught by your parents and you were programmed and molded to do that. Good for you. Congratulations, you're fortunate. Some of us were not. We were systematically broken out of our happiness, believing that everything we want to do is wrong and we got to do something else like, oh, I have to get a job. Who says so? You can be a freelancer, you can be a skydiver, you can be a pilot, you can be offering massage services from your bedroom, from your house. People can come in, you can offer teaching music, you can, you know. So, we had a lot of these things growing up and so for a lot of us on earth and i believe that's a large population on earth because if everyone just chose their own happiness uh and we were there would be no wars because everyone would be choosing peace because that's the most happy thing from the soul clearly people are not it's a i have to i should have i must i can't i must wage war on this country i must sell sell the missiles to this country Right? So a lot of people on earth are not doing that. And so this message can affect a lot of people. So just let the universe guide you. Follow the signs, follow the numbers, follow your angels. For some people, it's feathers. For some people, it's somebody saying a phrase, like I'll show you another sign from this trip to Kelowna, where I had changed my YouTube banners to be yourself after my previous family holiday to Bintan, where I found myself a little bit. All my banners on socials now just say be yourself with my own picture there. Just yesterday as we were walking in Kelowna and I was deciding like, how do I get a job? What job will I get in Canada? What job? Shall I migrate here? Shall I not migrate here? What should I do? As I'm thinking these thoughts, there's a sign on the floor, be yourself, which reminds me of my YouTube channel and hence tells me just continue with your YouTube stuff. Like, don't worry too much about the jobs and the whatnot. All that stuff will be provided for. You know, like the universe provides. Like Melion says in Shadow Hunters, the earth provides. If this video was helpful to you, please hit like. If uh, my friend uh, whose house I'm staying at is laughing. So if this video was helpful to you, please hit like. Please subscribe to this channel. And if you want to hear me talk more about this type of stuff, then turn on the bell icon for notifications. And right now, enjoy the other videos popping up around my head. Always remember to follow the signs. Okay. You guys have a good one, and I'm gonna keep talking while YouTube plays out its 20 seconds of video sharing around my head right now. Other playlists for you guys to check out. Take care, and have a wonderful day ahead. I love you, and my name is Zephyr. Goodbye.